intelligence, stamina, courage, and heart. You both wear the hell out of a fur park. <laughs> and <laughs> I wondered, uh, how are those to work in? Are they cumbersome? They're pretty. They're pretty thick. Cause yeah. you, there's a liner underneath, so yeah. it's like. And they're, and they're fake fur. Mm -hmm. um, but they're really warm, uh, cumbersome, hard to get in and out of them. <laughs> Yeah, now, once I, you're in it, you're in it for the day. Yeah, and 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 you don't want to see that on screen, you know. Uh, it's going to take a little effort getting into a <laughs> yeah. parka. Um, but they're so beautiful, and mm -hmm. and Wendy Partridge, our costume designer, I think worked miracles. Disney has a policy of not using any right. real fur, so she had to create all of those different types of fur from various um, quality fake fur that she found. It's like any great costume yeah. that. Uh, it really helps you with the pretending mm. and the inhabiting of the character. Yeah, yeah probably gets you in that mindset mm. of being like, oh, I'm very much. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not myself when I'm in a, a big, heavy <laughs> uh, fake fur parka, that's for sure. Of course. He's undersized. He's trouble. Well, good afternoon. He's untrainable. Stop that! I wondered first how big of dog people each of you are. I've never had a dog. No, I've, me I've, neither. I've known and love a f loved a few, mm -hmm. but I've never had my own, so I, d I don't have that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that right. Well, I mean, the truth hurts. <laughs> I know, I'm like do I'm dog specific, is what yes, I mean. I, I like see. dogs that certain dogs that I know and I have a relationship with, but it's not any old dog walking down the street. I'm not ooing and eyeing. Mm -hmm. Full disclosure. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> well, uh, oh, and yourself? No, just I love animals, but I've never had pets. So, I mean, especially knowing that, wh wh why do you feel that this is like a well that we constantly want to dive back into to tell these stories about dogs? Why, why is there such a strong connection between humans and dogs? I think it's probably a connection between humans and nature. Mm -hmm. My sister mm -hmm. had a dog, Ruby, for 15 years, and this was her soulmate, actually, because Ruby was a constant. You know, whatever was happening in her life, highs and lows, Ruby was there, not changing. It's just that unconditional mm -hmm. love and giving her the same thing every time, which was just love, joy, you know, only the good stuff. It's <laughs> a different kind of uh, thinking, you know. It's not a, it's a kind of simple relationship, mm -hmm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's built on trust and, and companionship. Hotly contested issue on, on the act of um, dog kisses. Because <laughs> there's a lot in this movie. You get a lot of Togo. Kissing Total the face. Love. You sure do. Are we Diesel pro love. <laughs> That's a different movie. Yeah. <laughs> because some people, they're like, oh, I would never. But, you know, people I think grow up with dogs are. <laughs> I'm good with it. You'll see in the movie. Oh, yeah. No one wants a kiss from anyone who's given it to him. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I'm a dog kisser, yeah. <laughs> from way back. <laughs> from way back. No. <laughs> it's a new thing for me. He outran every single one of them. He's not a sled dog. He's a lead dog. I mean, I walked into the theater and they made sure I knew that there were tissues off to the side because this is kind of, you know, going into this knowing it's a tearjerker movie. What, what's your thought on, on this as a tearjerker? Well, it's a little weird to <laughs> broadcast that ahead sure. of time, but my experience has been, I, I went to a screening, I've seen the film once, mm -hmm. and I went to a screening and I'm watching it to see how it turned out and all that, so I'm <laughs> trying to be hang tough. But everybody with me is mm -hmm. like crying their eyes out. And I get the feeling mm -hmm. every once in a while, but I'm gonna tough it out because I gotta see how, how the shots worked <laughs> out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it seems to move people. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand because the, the story is moving and, and it's shot very beautifully. And the nice thing is, and don't take it from me, you be the judge when you <laughs> see it, but um, you don't feel worked. Mm -hmm. uh, you come to the movie. The movie doesn't beat you over the head or just hit your buttons. You watch it and you find your, uh, your connection with it. And that's, that's quite a feat. I think Erickson Core, uh, Erickson Core, the director, did a beautiful job in, in telling the story. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you there. It's 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 really well well done. You don't feel worked, yeah. right? You don't feel like, oh, they got me. Mm -hmm. No, it creeps up on you. It, creeps it, it up wasn't on until you. the very end, and having like read the script, knowing the story, filmed it, that I felt sort of fine the whole way along, and then it just then it sort of slowly gets mm -hmm. under your skin. You see that storm on the horizon? 
Only one man and one dog can make that run. He's 12 years old. He's too old. He'll never make that distance. Got one more in your pump. <laughs>